Hello and welcome everyone. We have a box to open today. I am, I don't usually do box opening videos, but I thought it would be fun. So this is a box from Yoseka Stationery. And inside is basically a birthday present for myself. And I feel like I'm starting this whole tradition in regards to sailor pens in particular. Uh, if that doesn't give it away, the title already has. Uh, basically, I got a sailor pen and a couple of other goodies. So for Christmas, I purchased this sailor pen, which is the Christmas Tea Spice Pro Gear and I have been using it with the ink that I bought it with, which is the Wolfberry. And I kind of like this tradition of having a pen and an ink mate to celebrate holidays. <laughs> Christmas and birthday is what it will be and remain. And it also helps to not be tempted with every darn sailor release. <laughs> because they have so many. So the ink I got is this Sailor Suki Gokoro. And this, this is the first time I've seen a Sailor box like this. It's quite pretty. And we'll do a little ink swatch, just a moment, with something kind of special. Actually, let me just, I'm all over the place. I'm just really excited. Let me just pull out. Okay. These are just some stickers that I've been wanting to get for a while now. Uh, and just threw them into my cart. This is the... Yoseka stationery card and the little stickers and a very special stamp. So we have an ink bottle. We have a fox and a dog. This is a collaboration with Yoseka stationery and Otten, Otten, I think is, is how you pronounce his name, who's actually an employee there. And then some pigmented, I think these are waterproof i'm hoping so that i can put the ink in the little swatch it's so sweet oh my goodness okay now for the pen this is the fuki color, I believe, or theme. Uh, I think this is another of their springtime inspired pens. Wow, what a fun green. That's actually a lot greener than I expected. And it's a Pro Gear Slim, and I love these little khaki finials. Oh, it's so milky. You know what it reminds me of? Oh my gosh. Uh, is it gasoline glass or Vaseline glass? This glass that was made, I think, in 1800s, maybe early. 1900s in which you put it under a black light and it glows this color this is what it reminds me of it's like radioactive <laughs> radioactive milky glass i love it oh that is so beautiful and wait a minute it doesn't feel like a slim but it okay it is no gosh that is a much bigger slim 
than I remember the slim size being. Now I gotta pull out my other slim sailors. Okay, I guess it's the same size. Maybe it's just this like block of color that makes it appear so much bigger. But yeah, it's the same size. Something about it though, it just looks a little different to me. Anyways, that's kind of nice. I, I really like this <laughs> slim size. Okay, so hopefully, oh gosh, I didn't even think about this. Oh good. I guess I could have robbed Peter to pay Paul and stolen a cartridge converter out of another sailor that I have that's not inked up. There was a time in which these pens didn't seem to consistently come with a cartridge converter. But it lately, they all have, which is really great. Okay, so let's... Oh, that color is just so... Mmm, edible. <laughs> really beautiful. I love the depth that it has. I know I should flush out my fountain pen. I'm really bad about flushing out my fountain pens before using. I tend to... I tend to not because I just get so excited to use them right off the bat. And do I have a cleaning rag? Yes, I do. Wow, look at that. When inking up a fountain pen for the first time, it takes a couple of pull throughs just because the feed holds so much ink and when it's a dry pen you have to really saturate that feed before you can then fill up the converter voila oh my goodness this ink color it's crazy okay so before we do a little pen test. I want to do a little ink swatch. And I'm going to use one of the back pages here in my Midori B6 Slim journal. And now I think I'm gonna use this red ink. That just seems like a fun contrasting color. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I've, I love stamps and I love the idea of them and I love the look of them, but I always feel like they're, they have, do I really want the same character constantly? But when they have like a use, a multiple purpose, like this one, for example, with ink swatches, then it makes, it makes sense to have this stamp because I will want to use it many times oh that's so <sighs> it's so cute <laughs> I just need to take a moment that is oh Ugh. beautiful <laughs> now I'm so unprepared you know Let's just try something new. And I think, oh, I do have Q-tips. Hmm, should I use a Q-tip or a paintbrush? Mm, I don't know. I also, hmm, maybe, ah, oh, I'm like really having a hard time here. <laughs> I don't know, should I wait for this to dry a little more? Maybe I don't touch the red. Oh my goodness, that color, holy cow. That's insane. All right. 
as you pull it out and as it dries, there's like this beautiful brown sheen. And when you first lay it down, it looks teal, but then it has this green color that begins to surface. Wow, that is so beautiful. I kind of like being able to use a paintbrush because then it's reusable. All right, now for the final test. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Let us take a look at this fountain pen. So this is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, a lovely nib, medium fine, 14 karat. I believe the color of the body is called Fuki. And this ink is Suki Go Ko Ro. I wonder, could I write it? Wait, oops. Suki ko ko ro <laughs> in hiragana. Ha! <laughs> All right. Sorry, I my I feel my hands are shaking because I'm actually really excited. So it just I'm 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 not able to slow down, and this nib is actually really smooth, more smooth than a lot of sailor pens, which are. Kind of notorious for having that pencil-like feedback. And this color, holy cow, this ink is just, <laughs> is like the perfect blend of green and brown. Oh man. Okay. It would be silly if I didn't write Bada bing, bada boom. That is it. That is my little birthday box opening. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy writing.